Hi, YouTubers. It's Evan again. It's Tutu Tutu. So, uh, I'm in the garage again doing it right now. So, it's me a cigar review right now. So, uh, another cigar review. Another big ass cigar review. So, uh, hashtag big ass cigar for life. As in the big ass cigar. So, uh, anyways, it's going to be a cigar review right now. So, uh, this is going to be the Padron Damaso or Demaso number 15 Toro 6x52. So, very nice big ass cigar. <laughs> so, I went to my tobacconist today, washed the cigar, and I bought this nice big ass cigar. So, uh, yep. So, this was about $20 of Wash City. Oops, spoilers. <laughs> yes, big ass cigar for life. Now, this is going to be the Padron de Masso, like I said. This is actually the Toro size. I reviewed the Robusto and the Churchill. I may review the Corona sometime soon. Maybe sometime soon. Yeah, I might pick it up and pipe some cigars if I, if I feel like it. So, now, the first third is Cedar pepper, wood, cream. So, very smooth, very cedary, peppery, wood, wood, woodery. Yes, big ass cedar of life. You know, just very wood-like flavors. Very typical Connecticut. So, Padron de Masso's do have more oomph to them than most Connecticut. So, very nice cigar. Nice big ass cigar. So, yeah, nice cream flavor. Very smooth. So, very nice. Second third was mild, pretty mild overall. So, the, a lot of the oomph and strength really went down a lot in the second third, so definitely has a more smoother, creamier, wood, or wood taste, so very nice. Nice big-ass cigar. Now, the last third was the same basic flavors. It stayed pretty cool. I was able to smoke it down to the nub. Nice big-ass nub. Yes, and the big-ass cigar. Okay, okay, I'll stop saying that. So, kind of getting annoying. So, I won't say, I won't stop saying it altogether, but I will stop saying it in this video. So, it gets a little bit annoying after a while. I understand, you know, big-ass cigar. I know a lot of people like saying big-ass cigar, but it kind of gets a little bit annoying. Okay, back to the video. So, overall strength, mild to medium. So, Definitely has, um, you know, mild to medium strength, nothing overwhelming, a little bit of a buzz, nothing too strong. Uh, retro heli notes have a little bit of pepper, so pepper, wood, cedar through the nose. When you retro heli, it's when you exhale through your nose, like that. So the uh, smell of it, typical cigar smell, uh, very nice smell. In general, most cigars smell the same. So, <laughs> so I guess thinking about something silly in my head. So... Burn was great, no touch required. Honestly, most padrones, if they're if they are humidified right, if you get them from a good tobacconist, or if they are alchemating your wine or cooler or top tier humidor, most cigars, most padrones, most padrone cigars will burn fantastic. So padrones in general burn fantastic. If you're seeing burn problems, look to your humidor storage or your alchemation. So um it lasted for just under 55 minutes. So yeah, just under 55 minutes. Yeah, pretty nice. So, not a super long burn time for Padron. That's a little bit short, especially for like a Toro or Churchill. But in general, um, Connecticut's tend to burn faster because the, the wrapper is thinner versus Habano or Maduro, Escuro, Camacho, not Camacho, uh, Cameroon, Cameroon. So, those tend to burn more slower. Connecticut's in general tend to burn very fast. They're almost like paper because it's so thin. So we're not, they're not paper, they're not cigarettes. They are, you know, definitely tends to burn faster because the um, wrapper. Okay, I'm getting off topic. So price point in this is $17 to $20. So yeah, $17 to $20, depending where you, li you live. Or burner, sorry. Yeah, depending where you live, you're going to pay between $16, $17, all the way up to $21, $22. If you're here in Massachusetts, Massachusetts, um, you're gonna pay twenty dollars even probably if you're down in you know Pennsylvania, Florida, with Tobacco Paradise, you're probably gonna pay more like sixteen, seventeen. But in general, these are high-end cigars, like big ass cigars. Okay, I'll stop. <laughs> so just kidding. So big ass cigar for life. Yeah, definitely down there, Pennsylvania, Florida, the South, South Carolina, in Tobacco Paradise, probably sixteen, seventeen. These are high-end cigars, so you're gonna pay a decent price. A to 10 for rating, so very nice. Definitely has, you know, a good flavor. So, wood, cedar, pepper, spice, smoothness, cream, very nice. Anyway, this has been the Padron de Basso, number 15 Toro, uh, 6, point, 6 by 52. Anyway, comment, subscribe, and keep smoking those big ass cigars flight. Bye.